What's up, everyone? Uh, another quick video here on a Mavit product. Um, I've had really good success with all, all their products. Um, what I have here are the lights for the interior. Uh, one of the things I have a problem with is it being too dark, especially with the, getting the kids out of the car and it's nighttime or, you know, getting up in the morning and trying to find something in the back seat. Uh, it's really hard, you know, to, to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an install, show you guys what these lights look like, kind of a before and after. Um, quality seems good. Um, the harness and everything's just going to attach to the dome light in the back. And I'll give you just kind of my honest review after putting them in. installation uh, it's fairly easy I'm just gonna use a socket and this is a 5 16 um, that's what we're gonna use to take the bolts out where the lights attach and then I'm gonna use a pry tool to get the rear dome light out just something to, to pop that out so here are the lights I'll lay these out and show you kind of what they're gonna look like now keep in mind they are specific to each side so when you go to place these, you wanna make sure that the light is shooting down. So if you look in the orientation, you can see how that light would be pointing down. If this was reversed, that light would be just shooting up onto the ceiling. So you just wanna make sure you get this on the right side. We're gonna pop out the dome light here using a pry tool. Okay, so we've popped out the dome light. I'm going to take this connector and I'm going to connect from the front side of this. I'm going to take this, pull this little piece down. It's flexible enough that it shouldn't break. And what I want to do is just bring this down through the hole where the dome light was. Just like that. We're going to wire that to this light here in a second. But now I'm going to run each of these to the corresponding side. So we'll just pull these out. And what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna feed these along. Again, pull this down and just feed these wires back behind here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just disconnect this dome light. I'm gonna plug it into this side. And then I'm simply going to plug this one into here. You wanna make sure you've got light. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna to continue to run this around. Now, you're gonna to wanna to remove these two panels um, to be able to tuck the wire behind here. Your airbag is back here, so we have to be careful, but you got this 5 16 bolt. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. The lights are gonna mount the longer one up here. Let me show you that real quick. The longer light will mount here, the shorter light's gonna mount here. And once I get this removed, we'll be able to tuck this wire back behind there. Once you've taken these screws out, this thing comes right off. So very easy to pop off. You can see the wire. I just tucked it right there back behind the airbag. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is on this panel that I pulled out, we wanna make sure we have the right light and make sure that the little lights you can see are facing down. And then we're gonna reattach that. Now, I'm, I was thinking about cutting a little channel right here just so this wire tucks in back behind there um, and you don't see them. But honestly, I don't think you're gonna see them either way. Keep in mind that since this panel lays on top of this one, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove this and put that light in before you reinstall this panel over the top of it. Um, the other thing is I decided not to do a little cutout on here. Um, I ended up just getting some electrical tape and just making it black so that you won't see that red wire. All right, so you can see that wire. You can see that little bit of black up there. I'm not too worried about that. Um, we're just gonna feed this back here again, behind here and plug in the next light and attach the panel. With the panel back on, you can see, got the one light here and we got the other light there. Here you can see, got this one installed, tuck that wire back behind there. 
Same with this one. You can see just a little bit of exposed wire up there. I'm not too worried about that. Um, now, just the final thing that we need to do is put the dome light back into place and make sure everything's buttoned up. Um, what I'll do is come out tonight and show you guys what they look like. Please like and subscribe if you like these videos. Um, I'll be happy to make more. And if you have any topics that you want um, me to go over, please let me know as well. Overall, I'm super happy with the lights. It added a tremendous amount of light um, that I needed and always been happy with Maybit products. Thanks for watching.